What's going on ladies and gents? Teach here bringing you guys today some of Rainbow Six Siege gameplay tips guides I guess is more of the official thing I should deem this as because today we'll be talking about the new heavy barrels in the game But before that goes on I want to thank Thunderspear for this amazing gameplay. He helped me get uh, He is mr. Mountain Dew in front of me or is what I call him, Montania Montania Montague What the fuck you want to call him at this point the guy with the extendable shield the amazing gameplay just the pure synergy and teamwork the Awesome clutch we did thunder. That was some awesome stuff. Good good on us. I that felt awesome Just after that moment where we I knew the pulse was flanking us. I just tipped the dock right in that you'll see it It's just awesome enjoy the first opening clip here, but dude that was awesome good shit Anyway, so we're gonna be talking about the heavy barrel today now before I get fully into the heavy barrel Let's explain what it does and what guns it can be applied to with the heavy barrel attachment equipped damage at long distance Doesn't decrease as much in a trade-off. There's extra recoil This means that there is less fall-off damage which will vary per weapon but uh, will be around 10% of damage increase at longer ranges, and they mean like your damage overall won't drop off as hard. Uh, I guess that's kind of thing here. So think of it this way: um, uh, Gun A can do 25 damage up to 30 meters. All right, I'm, there's no gun that can do this. I'm just spitballing. With the heavy barrel on, it now goes up to like 40 meters. Kind of get that. There's like increases and stuff like that to different guns that each affect the guns differently. Speaking of the guns, let's get into the guns that are affected with the heavy barrel. The 416C, the Beretta M12, which is Caviar's SMG, the C8 SFW, which is Buck's Assault Rifle, the SMG11, or as it states here, MAC-11, the P90, the Para 308, the R4C, the 9mm C1, which is Frost SMG, the UMP45, which goes to both American Defenders, and Blackbeard's SCAR-H. Now, initially, when I first read that, I thought that Blackbeard Scar H wouldn't really benefit from this extended barrel all that much. But as you saw earlier from the gameplay Thunder and I pulled off, that's not the case. This thing's amazing. In the right hands. Here's the thing we're going in here. So, talking about each of these guns, and I used them and tried to get gameplay with them. For the most part, they actually all were quite good. As, once again, referring back to the gameplay. Um, a gun that I actually kind of figured wouldn't be benefited by too much was the C8 because it already had extreme recoil. I, It's just my play style. Now, of course, muzzle attachments, barrel attachments, wherever we call it at these points, um, they do vary. They do change. Um, you know, your styles are all played differently. I like to play more aggressively. So the extended barrel actually was nice, though. I did enjoy it for my classes, uh, except the C8. The C8 recoil did get away from me a lot, and also the P90. I know they just recently reworked it, but it also is, I don't know, the muzzle break seems better on a weapon that doesn't have that much damage. I think it has like 22 damage or something like that. It's very low damage anyways, the P90. So, and it's really meant for close quarters. I mean, P90s are not sniper rifles, obviously. So, there's stuff like that. Um, so, the C8 P90 wouldn't really recommend them that much. I didn't enjoy it. But if you guys want to try it, I honestly suggest go ahead, test it on your own. You'll get a better feel of it. I'm just kind of here to give you an idea of what you're going to get into. So, guns that I really know... So, for the rest of the guns, though, it all it helped them. Like, the, it's my new barrel attachment. The 416C, I used it with a holographic sight, though. Um, the ACOG recoil increase did get away from me a lot, and tap firing it obviously was the smarter decision. But sometimes when you need to spray, and I've also never been a firm believer of ACOGs at close range. Um, I don't know people are saying about well, Moose, you know, you're supposed to use, like, the 416 to spawn kill. I... I tend not to do that i have done it before don't get me wrong but i, I don't like i don't like it and I, I typically don't go for it it really depends on that like canal you'll find me more often or not going to kill like going to roam around um but other than that i'm usually hunkered down on the objective i like staying in and around the area acogs aren't really my thing i like when people come to me and i still honestly find the, a holographic site so accurate as it is anyways that I'm okay with shooting at long distance with the thing. I'm I'm perfectly comfortable with it. Obviously, the Mac 11 is its own case, and I'll get into that just a second here. So, the um, the 416 had a really good benefit. I liked it a lot, surprisingly. And the Scar H. Now I know they even said for the Scar H that they increased its initial, that they increased its recoil, so it increases to its max recoil faster with the shield up. If you guys can fight recoil, the extended barrel is something you'll enjoy. Once again bar the c8 that really got away from me and i was like and i and i'm on the xbox and i was pulling down with my gamepad 
um, wasn't really going that well. Like, it just wasn't a good time. It got away from me. I really enjoyed the muzzle brake more. Um, and the P90 once again as well. The Par 308 and the R4C, both guns <laughs> benefited from extremely well. The, R the Par 308 does so much damage up close anyways that I didn't actually put it on. I kept my muzzle brake because it just does so much damage as it is flat that I enjoy the way it played with the muzzle brake. Um, now, the R4C, I didn't think I would want to. Put the extent uh, the extended barrel. It says heavy barrel on the website here, like extended barrel, heavy barrel. I don't know what they're going with here. So if I flip flop between both, I'm sorry. But the R4C Ashes assault rifle, if you can pull down the recoil, it's fine. I used it with the uh, the green triangle reflex sight of standard vertical grip and the extended barrel, and I didn't have a problem at all with this gad. Like this gun had no problems at all whatsoever. Uh, the 9mm C1 and the UMP45 both classify simply with each other. They are amazing together. And with the extended barrels, they added just what the guns needed to make them really, really good and very, very viable. So, honestly, go for it. Honestly, I even run the angle grips with them. They don't have that much recoil. It's not that extreme. So, now let's talk about probably the elephant in the room here, which is the SMG11. Now, as you saw early on... In the clip, or in the video, I should say, there was the scene where Jaeger decides to pop out. I see him at the last second with the drone, and I just pop him square in the head. Now, of course, the fuss, the fuss, the fuss, because that's a word. The fuss is a word. The first shot is going to go where you're aiming. Now, something I really like with the Mac 11, though, is since the damage uh, doesn't decrease with the heavy barrel, is you'll see, as you saw after that clip, I got that kill on Rook, where he... Um, where I sprayed up his body and it went near up to rise to his head. That's something that I really utilized a lot more. And you can see with some other smoke gameplay that came up and stuff like that. The SMG-11 was really awesome. The extended barrel. The damage consistency really felt nice. And of course, it's still its pocket sniper rifle. Just you can't let it spray. Tap firing is something you're going to need to learn if you're going to want to use the extended slash heavy barrel with the SMG-11 and ACOG together the vertical grip does help don't take it off use it it's important stuff like that but honestly the smg 11 in its own was still a fantastic destructive beast that we're all used to and the extended barrel is just it benefited it a lot i really enjoyed the mac 11 slash smg 11 um overall with um the extended barrel i can't words all of a sudden the Mark 17 CQB, Scar H, of course, I've been kind of going back and forth between that. But this gun here is also something that I was, as I said before, was surprised that got such... That actually isn't bad <laughs> with um, the extended barrel. I was like, okay, they increased the recoil. It seems to be terrible. I was using it, as you saw once again from that beautiful clip that opened up the video. I didn't have a single problem with it. Um, it if you can fight the recoil, like if you just pull down a little bit, or you know, mouse and keyboard obviously is easier. But they did different um, statistics to, like, pretty much. So say like on console, there's a 13% increase to recoil on mouse and keyboard. It might be different because once again, both games can play different with a more accurate thing like a mouse. Um, so the Scar H once again, absolute powerhouse, guys. I'd recommend just learning to use the Scar Rage with an extended barrel. Just based off the fact that any range you get in, you'll be dealing its max damage no matter what. Whether it's longer ranges, you'll be doing a shit ton of damage, and whether it's at close range, you'll be doing a shit ton of damage. Now once again, I'd recommend not using an ACOG scope because the recoil will get away from you very quickly, and ACOGs only amplify what the recoil is shown because the magnification is so strong. So you have to be careful with that. All these recommendations should be noted that using a low, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Low zoom optic is highly recommended. So if you like the ACOG, and if you like the ACOG, that's cool. I wouldn't recommend using uh, the extended barrel uh, with that unless it's the Mac 11. Obviously, the Mac 11 is really good. Um, if you guys really want to learn, like use it. Put some time and effort into it, and it will pay off once you learn those recoil patterns with the ACOG and extended barrel. The damage output you will be doing is tremendous, but someone like me that really enjoys the holographic site no matter what game he plays, I I'm I, I, I just find it faithful. I like it. It's easier to control, but I still get that damage drop off. I don't know. 
you just you gotta learn especially with the ACOG once again ACOG extended barrel it's a difficult combination to learn but if you learn it your reward will be great um, so yeah, all these recommendations, all these guns with the extended barrel slash heavy barrel, try to use a low optic sight with it and try to play, it's going to sound weird, but try to play aggressively. I know that the damage drop off is, um, how do you say it? like the damage drop off is decreased, but it's also good. So say if you're just down a hall or something, um, think of this way, yacht, you just walked into the big door, you came down the side stairs and there's someone down the hall. Your damage drop off won't be as powerful and you'll be hitting that person extremely hard. So if you have a fast firing gun, like the uh, 416's up there, but more along the lines of the R4C and you can master that recoil even with a low optic sight, boom, guys melted and it's over and out. Like if you're not that keen on, if you're not that good with headshots but you can control recoil, use a low optic sight, use the extended barrel, go for the body shots, you'll be able to come out on top a lot more and you'll be... Your skill won't be as punished because, I mean, headshots are still headshots. But at the same time, if you're good with just rushing in, maybe you're just trying to spray someone down or you have someone at range and you can't perfectly line up the head, this extended barrel, heavy barrel, will help you in the long run for that suiting. So that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to like, share with a friend if they maybe are interested in something like this. Uh, if you guys have any questions or wasn't clear on something, please don't be feel afraid to ask me or comment in the section. Co comment in the section below. Yes, comment in the comment section down below. I try to answer all your questions as soon as I possibly can. Without further ado, guys, thank you so much once again. I'm the Digitus, and I'll see you, sexy beast, next episode. Peace.